If you've lived with diabetes of any type for more than, I don't know, a few days, you've probably heard your share of really stupid cures for type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Here are a few of the most ridiculous cures that salespeople or just regular people like in your family have tried to convince you will work for your type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Green tea mixed with wasabi. Expose yourself to more viruses. That will help your immune system get stronger. More ice baths. Thoughts and prayers. No, seriously. Thoughts and prayers. Fasting. Just stop eating. Problem solved. Clean eating. Ketogenic dieting. Veganism. Eat no fat. Eat all the fat. Eat only vegetables and fruit. Obviously yoga. Breathing exercises. Microdosing mushrooms. Meditation. Milk. More kale, homeopathic oils, like coriander seed, lemon balm, clove bud, black pepper, cinnamon, lavender. How will those essential oils help your blood sugar? Nobody knows. CrossFit? CrossFit could probably cure type one, right? Okra, not Oprah, but okra. Maybe Oprah has a cure for diabetes. I don't know, she's pretty incredible. This fancy pill that has a whole bunch of really important ingredients in it, which are actually just vitamins. Secret Chinese herbs that only I can sell to you. Juicing, you know, just take the ingredients, the juice in that bell pepper and that carrot and that spinach, and when you press it through that machine, it actually becomes a cure Potion, turmeric. Turmeric actually cures just about everything. Positive thoughts. It's your negative thoughts since the day you were born that have caused illness in your life. Think more positively. Change your attitude. You have diabetes, just go to the doctor. Dieting, 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 weight loss, exercise, just exercise all day, exercise, exercise, exercise you'll be cured. Exercise, 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 exercise. Cut out all sugar, cut out all starch, cut out all carbs, more water, apple cider vinegar, and maybe baking soda. Gargle it, you know, every morning. See what happens. Copper bracelet, that'll do the trick. CBT oil, you guys, it cures everything. Not only will it cure your diabetes, it will probably help you win the lottery. These fancy pills with a proprietary blend made just for people with diabetes. No, these fancy pills. Wait, oh no, and some of these too. And maybe those over there. More kombucha. This is just your gut bacteria. You need kimchi, kombucha, yogurt. I don't know, get some more fresh air, go for a walk. I think the best way to spot someone who knows nothing about any type of diabetes is when they try to tell you that a certain type of food is going to fix your blood sugar. They don't even know what they're trying to cure or the difference between type one and type two. They don't understand autoimmune disease, metabolic disorder. They have no idea what they're talking about, but they do have the cure for you. The one we've all heard the most, Cinnamon. Cinnamon, unfortunately, has actually been studied in real clinical trials, which is part of why so many people outside of real research think that cinnamon might be a cure for diabetes. Guess what all of those clinical trials have found? Any impact of cinnamon on type 1 or type 2 diabetes is insignificant. Cinnamon does not cure any type of diabetes. Then why do I have so much cinnamon? I like making gluten-free chocolate chip pumpkin muffins. You need a lot of cinnamon for that. The only thing cinnamon is good for is baking. Okay, but seriously, let's talk about why none of these are going to cure type one or type two diabetes. Yes, you heard that right. Not even exercise and crazy strict diets can cure type two diabetes. Type one diabetes is an autoimmune disease. The immune system is attacking and destroying cells in the pancreas that are responsible for insulin production. You cannot stop that autoimmune attack by taking some kind of fancy vitamin or eating a lot of cinnamon. Autoimmune diseases are extremely hard to cure. Try Googling, can autoimmune diseases be cured? So far, not a single autoimmune disease has really ever been cured. When you have people trying to sell you things for your autoimmune disease, first, they usually don't understand what an autoimmune disease is. Second, they don't understand that there are multiple types of diabetes. And third, they're not listening to you. It's usually a waste of your breath. 
Type 1 diabetes has never been cured. Instead, there are some really cool clinical trials going on right now developing functional cures for type 1 diabetes. A functional cure means that they haven't stopped that autoimmune attack. Instead, they've developed drugs or technology that is working its way around that autoimmune attack, providing your body with insulin producing cells that are protected from your immune system. So those insulin producing cells are coming from another source because your body doesn't make any. And then this technology or a drug is protecting those cells from being destroyed once they're in your body. Then those cells are producing all the insulin that you need in order to manage healthy blood sugar levels without daily insulin therapy through injections or a pump. None of this is available to the general public yet. It's still in clinical trials, but they're seeing some awesome success in these trials and it's really exciting and it's really hopeful. People with type 1 diabetes need to take insulin every single day. We do not produce enough or any of our own insulin in order to survive. There is no cure currently available for type 1 diabetes. And while there are medications that could help significantly improve your sensitivity to insulin, that is not a cure. And none of those medications will ever replace your need for daily insulin therapy. All right, type 2 diabetes. Surely that can be cured by just losing weight and not eating donuts. No, stop perpetuating total nonsense. Type 2 diabetes is way more complicated than society realizes. Type 2 diabetes is a metabolic disorder. Yes, lifestyle factors can play a role, but research has found that there are many genetic factors that increase a person's risk for developing type 2 diabetes. Society also thinks that type 2 diabetes is all about insulin resistance. It's not. People with type 2 diabetes do struggle to produce insulin. The causes behind that are not the same as in type 1 diabetes, but we know that over time, many people with type 2 diabetes produce less and less insulin. This is from beta cell dysfunction. Beta cells are produced by the pancreas and they make insulin. You cannot reverse type 2 diabetes. Anything that's trying to tell you that you can doesn't know enough about type 2 diabetes and they're using catchy lingo to try to sell you something. Instead, the experts across the globe who understand type 2 diabetes best have identified that many people can get their type 2 into remission. Remission is defined as no longer needing medications to keep your blood sugar in a safe and healthy range. But not everyone can achieve remission with type 2 diabetes, and that doesn't mean they haven't tried or they're doing it wrong. Many people with type 2 diabetes are either misdiagnosed with type 1 diabetes, I'll get to that in a minute, or they have genetic factors that have led to the development of this disease and their body is producing less and less insulin over time. That cannot be reversed. You can't restore that insulin production. It's actually really complicated. Type 2 diabetes is not as simple as society thinks it is. What really matters most is that we support people with type 2 diabetes instead of shaming them. You are never gonna shame someone into being cured. That's ridiculous. I want you to think about something you're having a hard time with. Now tell me if we all ganged up on you and criticized you, would that help you face that challenge? Probably not. Okay, a note on that whole being misdiagnosed with type 2 when you might actually have type 1. Listen closely. An increasing number of people diagnosed with type 2 diabetes are actually being misdiagnosed. More and more people are developing type 1 diabetes during adulthood, but healthcare professionals are still under the impression that type 1 only develops during childhood. This means when you come to the doctor's office or the ER with symptoms of diabetes and they check your blood sugar, it's high, they diagnose you as type 2. Instead, there should be further testing to really pinpoint which type of diabetes you have. Gary Shiner, one of the best diabetes educators on the planet, said that about one out of every four new adult patients that come to his clinic have been misdiagnosed with type 2 diabetes when they actually have type 1. One out of every four. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if your grandmother had type 2. You might have type 1. 
And actually your grandmother might have been misdiagnosed also. She might have had type one. Even if you have other signs of type two diabetes, like obesity, being overweight, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, it doesn't matter. You still need to get tested for the things that indicate type one diabetes, not type two. If you've been diagnosed with type two diabetes, you should ask your doctor for two more tests. C-peptide levels and autoantibodies related to type 1. If your doctor refuses to do this, go get a new doctor. But you can also visit trialnet.org and get a free autoantibody testing kit. It's a simple blood test. They'll give you all the directions of taking it to a lab, getting your blood drawn, then the lab mails it back to Trialnet. Getting the right diagnosis can be scary. I've met people who are reluctant to get that further testing, even though it seems very obvious that they've been missed diagnosed, don't fear it. Getting the right diagnosis means getting the right treatment and feeling better because you can actually get the medications you need to get your blood sugars down into a safe and healthy range. All right, on that note, I'm going to go see how much cinnamon I can actually stuff into those pumpkin muffins just, you know, in case it might cure my type 1 eventually. Thanks for watching Diabetes Nerd. I don't have any books on curing diabetes, but I have a lot of books on just helping you live with it. Find them on Amazon.